Hello, and welcome to the West Coast Drywall and Paint video training series. Today we have one of our best painters, Tobias. He is going to show us how to properly conduct an after carpet touch up. Proper setup is paramount for any type of painting. The tools that are necessary for this task are a two gallon bucket, also known as a deuce, spackle, putty, caulking gun, block brush, mini roller, 3 inch angle brush, angle tool, flat and enamel paint, and goof off. The protective equipment necessary for this video series are a drop cloth and shoe covers. Now that we have all of our tools and protective material, let's get started. Important things to remember. Start at the front door and follow either the left or the right wall. Make sure to follow this wall in and out of every room and even upstairs. By following this wall, you will completely work your way around the house and back to the front door. This eliminates jumping from room to room. First, work your way around the house and putty and caulk any imperfections. This includes baseboards, door jams, and windowsills, as shown here. Next, we will move on to paint touch-up. When painting after carpet, always wear shoe covers and use a drop cloth to prevent any possible damage to the newly installed flooring. Always place the bucket on top of a secondary drop cloth. A paint bucket should never sit directly on top of the finished flooring. Walk the room and look for any imperfections, and use a block brush with flat paint to touch up the walls. For larger areas that need to be painted, use a mini roller, but be sure not to carry too much paint on the roller. This will prevent any spilling or accidents. Make sure to be thorough in painting touch-ups, and make sure to check each and every wall surface. After all paint touch-ups have been made, including priming all of the drywall patches at the wet rooms. You can now start with your enamel paint, touching up the enamel finish areas. Start at the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room surfaces. And lastly, finish up with your woodwork enamel areas. Remember when touching the woodwork, make sure to sand any imperfections prior to painting and to have clean, strained paint. Now that the woodwork has been touched up, Let's move on to painting the pony wall cap. Sand the pony wall cap with 180 grit sandpaper. Next, cut in with a 3 inch brush. And then roll with the mini roller. Make sure to move quickly and carefully as enamel sets quickly. Roll the pony cap in one full pass to prevent any roller marks and uneven coating. After painting the pony wall cap, move down the stairs and touch up any tray damage caused by the flooring install as seen here. Remember, the goal of after carpet touch up is to address, repair, and paint all imperfections before the homeowners walk through, so be precise thorough, efficient, and always check your work. Upon completion of the final touch-up, with a rag and goof off, check for any paint residue. Here at West Coast Travel and Paint, if you do a great job and you're fast at what you're doing, you can make a lot of money working with us. We'll see you next time at West Coast Travel and Paint, where the sun always shines. <laughs>